Oh, happy Frigid's Day, witchlings. Today we're going to do a painting. So, <laughs> from my Wild Hunt on Tarot deck, I pulled a card that I wanted to inspire my painting this day, and I ended up pulling the Father of Cups. Now, the Father of Cups is, like, resemblant of the King of Cups, basically, but it's a, he's really good at understanding how people feel. He's a really good empath, and he just understands emotions, and for whatever reason, when I looked at this, the black swan. It also reminded me of Frigga, and it reminded me of peace and tranquility. So it inspired to make a painting about tranquility. So here I have a page, oh, it's a canvas that has some gesso on it. So I started out using some micron pens, but they did get really gummy while I was doing it. So I switched to the quill, which is pretty satisfying if I may say. So <laughs> it's not the most awesome quill, because as you can see, I have to dip one billion times into the ink but it is a very satisfying process to paint with quilts. <laughs> so I started out with the ink drawing to kind of replicate the peace and tranquility of the Father of Cups. And honestly, like, i be fair, like I liked it just fine without adding anything else, but I did have the desire to do an acrylic paint core on the King of Cups, Father of Cups. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I just did a bunch of little scratchy hash marks until it looked like the right texture of the feathers that kind of resembled the original card as well as I could. Switching back and forth between here I have a Prismacolor black pen and it just, um, they just kept on getting really fussy. So <laughs> do not recommend using pen on gesso. So <laughs> not recommended. I did really like using this canvas. That was super fun for the ink and I think in the future I'll probably just do a series of just ink drawings it was really satisfying. So now that we have that, we are going to do some shading with adding some moon water, or actually this is rain water because it's tranquil, so <laughs> into some ink uh, to make a transition. And now I'll be right back with paint pour time. Hey witchlings, did you like my goose? I, I really like the, the black swan because I have actually like a black goose or swan in my book about Frigga, and Frigga gives me tranquility. So. Uh, I really love my card pulling today. It really made me draw on tranquility. And I do believe that the father of cups is more like balance with your emotions and tranquility. So it really kind of fits. So next steps, we're gonna put some magical components in here. So for my magical components, I wrote up my little spell for tranquility here. And first we have lavender. For my lavender, um, I'm going to use it to draw a piece. For chamomile, I'm going to be using it to ease the mind. Next, I have my little rose hips here, and they are used in one of my home tranquility spells, so I'm going to add it to this spell. So for these ones, they, the thing I always say is, love and goodness above and below. Carried in rose hips, your light does glow. So that's my rose hips. The last item in it's oregano, which you can use for like everything. <laughs> so for this one, oregano is going to be used to push out the hardships and the sadness of the past so that the tranquil winds can carry joy in. Next, we need to mix up our paint. So first for oregano, I'm thinking I want that to be black. Uh, so, let me see, I've got several little jars here. I think I'll do black in this jar. So we're gonna add this spell, we've been using rainwater. So I'm gonna use rainwater for my component, for my, my paint transfers. We got rainwater. And we're gonna use the black to kind of push out negative feelings. So I'm going to use the black ink for banishment uh, and then some black acrylic paint. You can't tell it's well loved. <laughs> there we go, some black acrylic paint to make that mix. And then we're going to cap it and shake it up. Well, maybe gently shake it because we want to bring peace and tranquility. Some more like the rocking of the ocean kind of feel. Yes. Rocking the ocean, gentle, tranquil, tranquil rocking. The next color is going to be 
blue and for blue I'm gonna be using the lavender aha I forgot to put in something important here I forgot my oregano oregano I ask you to push out sadness and hardship so the tranquil winds carry joy into the life of the receiver of this piece It smells really nice. <laughs> For blue, we have lavender. So start, as always, with our rainwater, our peaceful, tranquil rains that wash away anything dark. Maybe too much. That's better. <laughs> and our blue acrylic. And our lavender, lavender, I ask you to draw in peace to this peace and the sweet beans that are all around it in its home. Peace is drawn in, tranquil winds. And we have chamomile. For chamomile, I'm gonna do some really bright colors and I don't have much of it left, so it's perfect. So we're gonna use this bright, bright color, bright yellow, and add, of course, moon water, by the way. This already had moon water in it, but I think it needs a little bit extra. Chamomile. I ask you to ease the minds of all those who reside around this peace when it goes to its final home and brings its peace. Now this is a little loose. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. Now it's time to get serious and put some serious protection down because we're gonna make a mess. <laughs> we're back. If you can't tell, you're zoomed out because this thing is like right next to the camera. It's really high up. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my rose hips. They're gonna be a very important piece. So they are going to be used to help the flow of the paint. So we're gonna put one of these rose balls there. And these little rose hips right here. And one right here. That looks pretty good. But I suppose we should start with some plain medium first, huh? Now it's time to make our mix. So I'm gonna mix everything in here and we're gonna do a dirty pour, everybody. Moonwater, I ask you to bring all these elements together to make a beautiful, tranquil space for the person who this belongs to. You guys ready for the fun? I'm ready for the fun. Isn't pouring just the best? Oh my gosh. For some reason, it ended up being a lot more gray than I wanted it to be. So I did come back in with a second pour just because it really picked up on that black and the white. Probably because I added more water to that than the other items. So <laughs> that's my guess. All right, things time to peek out some chooks. Yeah, I thought there were way too many herbs in here. I think I dig it. I'm gonna leave it be and see what happens. See y'all soon, witchlings. So now we're using some Martha Stewart gold leaf glue. For some reason, the only gold leaf glue I can find is Martha Stewart brand. Why? Why, Martha? Why you got the corner on the market? <laughs> well, because this didn't make my sketch stand out as much, by the way, I did get some over the edges and I had to like redraw some areas and put some white paint back on to kind of make it pop. Um, because it really wasn't standing out, I wanted to make it stand out by adding gold. And I always think of the golden black goose for frig. <laughs> Here's the gold leaf. That is not Martha Stewart brand, but I'm not really good at gold leaf method, but this seems to work out well enough. <laughs> It's really fun. I always end up with gold leaf everywhere and like every everyone ends up with it in their their eyes and their mouths and I, I'm just kind of a gold villain. 
So I, I really think this did end up making it look more regal, it made it look more deity-esque, and for me I like to think of Tranquility as a strong, almost godlike figure in your life to try to maintain stability. So the brush off, oh so good, oh my gosh, don't you just love that shine, oh lordy. Are you guys all ready for the final reveal? Ah! I put the spell on top also, so you can see at least I did a little bit of word art on top and I think it really helped tone down the paint pour section and it really helped it to look more like magic and it is magic and I love it and I love you guys! Please like and subscribe and have a fantastic day! I love you witchlings! Bye!